Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> I have to bring my arms up here like this. Uh, glad that you're here on the Radke Show today. My arms are heavy. I feel like I am Frankenstein walking through uh, the room right now. That's how my arms feel because I'm sore from the gym. You, on the other hand, are not because you did not go today. Now, listen, I didn't want to point that out. I, I did. I didn't want to embarrass him. But I do want to tell you all a story about something that happened to me the other day at the gym. My arms are very sore. Please don't think that, oh, we're going to watch the Radke show and every day it's going to be about how she gets her perfect bod. It's not. Um, but I am quite sore today and I want to tell you what happened. So yesterday we were at the gym and I don't necessarily think that gyms probably were made with women's bodies in mind, but maybe that's just me. And God knows I'm new to it. Okay. But, but we're at the gym and you can attest to this story that happened yesterday. We're at the gym and it's arms day. Is it every day arms day? I do feel like they put a little more focus on the arms than the... For than the sure. And women deal with hips and legs and we rarely ever do hips and legs. So we have to do... We're at this machine that it's like a circuit class that we did. And here's what he says. He says, you're going to sit down. Okay. But, this, but, but as you sit down, something comes over your knees. And I don't know what that's for, but anyway, something to hold, comes to hold you in place, I yeah, guess. Yeah, because you're pulling heavy, and so it could lift you up, and so it just keeps you. But then you got to reach up and grab. Well, what am I supposed to do? I can't reach up and grab, but my knees are being held, right? So he's like, no, what you do is you go up, and you get it, and then you just bring it down a little bit, and then you slide yourself in. I'm like, no, you slide yourself in. I'm not talking about David, by the way. I'm talking about our, our instructor. I'm like, no, you slide yourself in. I can't do this. And I was not the only woman that had problems with it. So finally, David, who is off doing something else, must be sick of hearing me talk. So he walks over there. He goes, just sit down, put your knees under there, and I'll hand you now, the weights. I did not speak to you in that manner. David, it is, it is 6.04 in the morning when this is going on. So yeah, you kind of did. So he's like, just sit down, and I'll hand you the weight. Because it's a bar, right? Oh, my arms are... It's a bar. So... I go and I sit down and as I go to reach, I have it set on the weight that I want, which is clearly a lot less weight than David can lift. So he goes to bring it down and it's much lighter than he thinks. And y'all, it hits me in the head hard, hard. Now, I have a choice at this moment. Do I start crying or do I act like I'm okay? The instructor immediately ran over. He's like, hey, 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 are you okay? That hit pretty hard. And I'm trying to, I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. And I said, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, you know, and he's like, oh, David's at the doghouse. And I'm like, oh, David's in the doghouse. But seriously, what I'm thinking is, David is in I, the doghouse. I don't know what you were, I don't know if you were talking about you were fighting or were you going to cry or were you going to act like you were okay? Those weren't the emotions you were battling. <laughs> it was rage or are you okay? I don't feel like it was. I feel like I toned down ye old rage and went through the rest of the day. But every single circuit that I went to, no matter what it was, I would just think, my head is burning so bad. I thought there was a gash on the top of my head. It hurt so bad. And then I got tickled because, and you can attest to this, I got tickled because... No one ever asked about my head again, even though it was hurting for the next 30 minutes. No one ever asked. And then when we go out to the car, everybody all walks out of the class together. And so everybody's like, bye, Rad Keys. Y'all have a good day. And you're like, bye, everybody. And our instructor's out there. He's like, hey, guys, way to win the morning. Way to win the morning. When you win the morning, you win the day. Way to go, guys. Way to go. And, we, and I'm like, thank you. Bye, everybody. Yeah, okay, see you then. I shut the door and I went just like this in the car. I went, okay, bye. You hurt my head. You hurt my head. <laughs> and David goes, David goes, I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming. It hurts so bad. I did feel really bad. I didn't. It, and I've had a touch of memory loss, David. That was way before you got hit the <laughs> I, I would like to recommend that you, you put, you know, some weight on there. I'm not even sure. Did you even have the pin in any weight or did you just pull the pin Don't out? Don't with me. Don't with me. I'm not kidding you, David. My arms are heavy. 
Like whenever I drink alcohol, like one sip of alcohol. I was gonna say, yeah, that's one sip of alcohol, and I f my arms get heavy like this. And I'll say, David, I can't drink anymore. They will be like, all you did was just lick the salt off the top of that margarita. You haven't even had any liquid yet. But my arms get super heavy, and I get hot all over. I'm okay. Worried. Go so ahead. this well, this this brings up a concern for me. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you may know Melissa actually is going to Columbia this week. Uh, Columbia, Tennessee? Uh, no, not Columbia, Columbia, Tennessee. Texas? Uh, no. Columbus, the, Ohio? The country of Columbia. So, more specifically, you're going to Cartagena, Columbia. Cartagena, Columbia, home of the cartel. Um, I actually uh, don't think he's there anymore. I think he's deceased. He's? Baby, um, the cartel is there. And they will see me with my fair skin and my golden blonde hair. And I will bring in the money. Yeah, but Pablo, you, all, you just go, I, I knew Pablo. Mm -hmm. I knew Pablo when. Um, anyway, uh, that being said, uh, it's the first time that Melissa's going out of the country by herself. Well, no, I'm not by myself. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, without me. Without you. Without me. Right. Uh, so I've had to consistently correct her from saying uh, migration, and I say the words Immigration. Um, what, well, David? When I go through the migration gate, the, 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 they don't have a migration gate. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they'll have an immigration. David, what about my migration papers? No, you're not. You don't, don't, you don't, you don't have any. You don't have any. Uh, you're not going north. You're going south. Okay. Um, so anyway, but all this to be said, you're going to go someplace different. Mm -hmm. uh, what could be I different saw, than Lufkin? I saw on the schedule that one night there mm -hmm. is dinner and dancing um, not for this old broad you what i'm saying is you can't lick the salt <laughs> you can't lick the salt like what because your arms are going to get heavy okay and i won't be there first of all let's let's just so i'm going on an influencer retreat social media influencer retreat i didn't know if y'all knew that's what i was but apparently i am for a company um that i advertise for and they are taking like 12 other women so, essentially, it's going to be very safe because I'm going to Columbia with 11 or 12 other women social media influencers. Y'all, if there's anybody who has street smarts, it's us. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to be fine. But, yeah, yeah. so they sent us a, 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 the other day, they sent us a, 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 a well, an itinerary, but also like a, like a, map and everything of where we're staying and y'all I've never stayed in a villa before I've stayed in a nice hotel and and you know I've told David to refer to it as a villa but I've never stayed in a villa it looks nice it's very nice I, it looks very very nice um I, I I'm not gonna remember the name I think there's two pools um but yeah it is like a late 1800s I think it was originally, I don't know if you call that a mansion or, mm. but it was an 1800 villa, um, but it looks really, really cool. There's like two pools, one for all the other girls and then one for me in my swim skirt because it tends to float up. Um, there will be a butler there for the week, a maid there for the week, and a chef there for the week. I've never seen any of those three kind of people in my whole life. I've never done anything like this before and it's, and I'm, and I'm, I'm very excited to go, but yeah, I looked at the itinerary and it's like they have dinner every night. We have dinner every night at seven o'clock in Old Town or something like that. And then the last night is dinner and salsa dancing. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. What? First of all, I'm not going to, okay. okay. I'm not going to ask you. you. Don't comment. Is it rude if I don't go? To the salsa dancing. I, I don't drink. I, I, I don't dance. I think you probably got to mm -hmm. kind of feel out how the, you know, how the now, weeks go in and all that kind of I know stuff, that, so. that no doubt there are probably comments coming in right now saying, oh, you need to go. You need to go. No, I, ne I know I need to go. Oh, you'll have so much fun. Oh, I know I would have fun. Oh, Melissa, you'll love to watch other people. Undoubtedly. But y'all... It sounds like a very packed week, and I, I get real tired about 9 o'clock. I do! I do! 
and I don't want to be out. And I'm not going to salsa dance because my feet, I've got bad feet. I think I got a bone spur coming up on my lefty. So I, I just, just the way you said that, you're not going to salsa dance, but if they were doing some other form of dance, you might. Lyrical jazz. You would do, okay. okay. Lyrical jazz. I see that with the high, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But seriously, I do think I have bone spur coming up on my lefty. You could jingle, jangle, jingle it. <sighs> oh my gosh. So I don't. I'm going to just go, I'm going to feel it out. But I, I may sit there and drink, you know, drink my Cokes. And I, I may get wild and ask them to add a little cherry to it. Ask them to add a little cherry, a little rose grenadine to my Coke. Oh, I'm going to live it up. Um, but I am very, very nervous. I am really, really very nervous. And my jaw hurts just talking about it because that's one thing that happens to me when I get nervous is I start grinding my teeth and my jaw is hurting. I've been grinding my teeth the last couple of days just thinking about this trip. You're going to be fine. You're just nervous because I'm not going. 100% so, no. 100% no. Melissa Page. David Von Radke. I am not nervous because you're not going. If, you, I, if, I, if I were going to be traveling with you, would you be this nervous? Okay. No, I would not be this nervous. However, that would mean it was a completely... <laughs> you don't have to say anything else. You know what? That would mean it was a completely different kind of retreat. And like couples were going. Let me tell you something, David. And y'all can attest to this, those of you who are watching. Imagine for a second, okay? Close your eyes. And imagine for a second that you are going on a trip with 11 or 12 other women you have never met before. And they're all on social media, okay? So they all want to make sure they are dressed to the nines all week. Their hair is perfect all week. Their makeup is fully done. And then there's you, okay? That is not really my thing, clearly, okay? Um, and I'm really, you can open your eyes now, because I'm no doubt y'all are playing along. Um, because so, so women get really nervous about that, about the meeting other women and, and having, you know, confidence in those kind of moments. I can, I can see that. I, I can see that's a, what do men do when, when you go off to a conference and it's going to be full of other businessmen? Um, and, cause you have done that a number of times. What, what, what does that feel like for you? Uh, it's. If I've never been there before and I don't know if I'm going to know anybody, there can be a little hesitation. I don't know if I'd say nervousness, um, but, you know, if I know a couple of people that are going to be there, I might try to have a, a little background on them so I at least know a conversation I can right. get started. And, and then once I get there, it's fine because I just, I just talk n incessantly. Well... That is your superpower. <laughs> um, but I'm going to tell you this. This is what I know. I am very sure about who I am. And I am very sure about what I'm about, like what I bring to the table. And, you know, quick little lesson right now. Do you know what you bring to the table? In, in life, do you know what you bring? I know that when there is a table of women, here's what I bring. I br I'm a very good listener. Number two, I ask a lot of questions because I learned very early on when you ask people a lot of questions about themselves, they get to talk about their favorite topic, which is them. And number three- They always walk away going, that was a great conversation. Yeah, and number three, I'm very funny. So if I can bring those things to the table that are my strong suits, great listener, I ask great questions, and I'm, and I'm very, very funny, who wouldn't like me? Who would like me? My best friend Statistically, told, about 24 to 27 I knew you were going to pull out the statistics. I knew you were going to pull out the statistics. My best friend actually said, they are going to be so lucky to have you. Anybody would want to be Melissa Radke's friend. And I think I'm going to have that put on a tag and put on my luggage. Anybody would want to be Melissa Radke's friend, right? Right? So I'm just going to walk in with a little, with not with an air, not with an arrogance, but with the confidence that I know who I am and I know that I bring valuable things to the table. You absolutely do. You are going to walk away. You will hands down be the favorite without a doubt. People love you and your personality and your charisma. But here's the thing. I am the oldest going. 
I am the oldest one. None of them are going through menopause. I would wager to guess. None of them have a skirt on their um, swimsuit. I'm taking two swimsuits. One has a skirt. God forbid one doesn't. I don't know what's more horrifying. Um, they probably all wear matching pajama sets. I do not. I wear a dress that I bought years ago from Walmart. <laughs> That's my pajamas, okay? I just want, I, I often don't uh, try to you know, direct you on like uh, your mm, writing. Actually, that's 100% not true. No, no, no. In a lot, all the time. In a lot of things, but on your writing. Okay. On your writing. So, uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with uh, Stretch Marks, uh, uh, article, Melissa, yeah. uh, article Melissa writes. So, I want you to go with this in mind, that when you come back, I'd like you to write an article, a Stretch Marks article, uh, Menopause in Cartagena. Menopause in Cartagena. I would like you to, so just as you're, as it's maybe hot, as you're having to walk, as you're, you know, maybe you're in one of those cases. You Stop. Know, you know, sometimes. We're walking places. You know, sometimes you're in one of those situations where they go, you don't have to outrun the line. You just have to outrun the, the slowest, slowest gazelle. So as you're, you know, walking to a salsa dancing, uh, you've got to analyze going, okay, I'm probably not the fastest, who can I trip the quickest? <laughs> I can get away. <laughs> just those things. So you're just going to be thinking about those things. I know I'm not the fastest. <laughs> but, okay. First of all, if I go salsa dancing and there's not salsa on my table, <laughs> somebody's going to be up in arms. Now, it won't be me because I can't lift mine. See, but somebody will be. That's part of it, too. You can go, I was confused. I thought we were having salsa and we were just excited so we were... <laughs> Salsa dancing. Um, Y'all wish me luck. I am really, really nervous. Um, the great new, the great thing is I bought a bunch of new clothes to take. That's that's mm -hmm. great for I did. someone. So when I get there, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be plucking tags, plucking tags off of everything. Granted, every one of them are from Target. <laughs> so. <laughs> David, that's they're probably true. gonna There's be probably a TJ Maxx though. David, there. they're gonna be. There actually is. Every single solitary <gasps> thing is from Target. There's one TJ Maxx. That reminds me, I have to tell you all this. So the other night, I, Friday night, I went, um, I went shopping for this trip. And in Lufkin, we do not, we do not have a lot of places to shop. We have a Belks, we have an Old Navy, and we have a TJ Maxx. That's it. I don't know of another place. I went to Belks. I don't know what's going on in there. Okay, I don't know what's going on in there, except that we do live in a retirement community, so it's like mostly old women clothes. So I come home, I, I do my shopping, I, I look there and can't really find anything, but... I'm sorry, I, I just got to clarify something. We don't live in a retirement community. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it sounds like we personally live in the landings or something, whatever it's called. Del Boca Vista! Vista. Uh, we don't live... In a retirement community, number one, our town, town is not even considered a retirement community. Yes, it is. It's a nice place to retire. I've heard a lot of people say it. I've heard a lot of people say it. There are people that retire here, especially it's from a retirement larger, town, larger cities. But I'm sorry, I just had to. I just had to clarify that. But I mean, like, I walked through there, and I don't know what's going on there at the Belks because, like, there were sweaters and they had cats on them and stuff. And so, uh, actually, it was a cat sitting there with like a bell on it, but it was a real bell, and it was going like this. So I come home, and David's watching the Astros, you know, and everything. He's working around the house, and he goes, "Did you find anything?" I said, "David, what is going on at the Belk?" It was just me and like four eighty-year-old women shopping on a Friday night. I didn't find anything. And then he looks at me. You know exactly what you said. He looked at me and he went just like this. He went, but I bet you walked out of there with a moo-moo, didn't you? And I went, oh my God, David. Yes. I literally walked out of there with not one thing, but I found the greatest moo-moo. And it was 30% off and it's got hidden pockets. Greatest? I don't know how you define greatest By comfy. Moo -moo. By comfy. And so I thought I was going to be able to take that moo, moo this week and wear it in my room, my private room. 
Um, but now we're not at a hotel. We're in a villa. People might be coming in and out. In and out, David. I say like that. Like that mug. I like that joker. So I don't, I don't get to wear my moo. I think that's probably for the best. I'm afraid you would pop up on someone else's, like their, you know, their reels or their TikTok, and they're like, like they're sitting there. You will not believe this lady. No, they're sitting there doing a get ready with me, and they're doing their makeup and everything, and then just behind them, <laughs> behind them is me walking in like this. In my mood. You got any coffee in here or is anybody else hot? Lord, it was so hot I had to sleep naked last night. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> David. David, I'm not equipped for this. I should not be going. This, this I'm telling you, it will be the last one I go on. It will be. I think companies talk to each other. <laughs> but I don't know. They may start hiring you to be the entertainment. Let me <laughs> let me ask you this. How will you and the kids do without me here? Because I'm gone. I'm gone but five days. How will y'all do without me here? I think we are right. No, but I mean, like, are you going to, do you know, do you know how to do anything inside this house? Because I, I don't know that you know how to run the washing machine. I don't even know if you know the difference in the washer and the dryer. Can you load a dishwasher? Because I've never seen you do it. You have to, now come on now. Well, first of all, I load uh, the laundry from into the washer, into the dryer, and where it's, you know, to be dispensed uh, weekly. So I got that down. No, I don't do dishes that often, but it's because I'm a delegator. I stand over the kids <laughs> and tell them to do it. So um, I will have a, a fabulous week. They'll be very glad when you come. What home. will you do about food? You do not cook. Uh, I cook sometimes. I could. Baby. Who are you talking about? <laughs> I ain't seen you wash a load of clothes in probably seven and a half years. And when you <laughs> say I cook sometimes, are you talking about when you whip out pita chips and sit down with pita chips and a root beer? Because that's not cooking. Are you talking about a bowl of Cheerios and you pop a piece of toast in there? David, what are you talking about? I know we're live, but this is crazy. You know I do more than that. Baby, not around the house you don't. You do not. David Bradkey, we have talked about, this has just turned into something else. Mm -hmm. This has just turned into something else. David does everything for my business. I'm the woman I am because of him. And he does it very, very well. But he does not do a lot around the house. And he does even less <laughs> outside of it because you told me you were addicted to ragweed. Is uh, that true? Addicted to ragweed. <laughs> Allergic to ragweed. I went on a migration one time. Mm -hmm. I went on a migration one time and that, uh, that caused... You went on a migration. We've made him so mad. He's out of here. He's out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Is he? Is he out? I've, okay, he walked around the back. <laughs> we had a battery go out. I know that some of you are thinking he walked around the front back of the camera and he's like this. No, never. He knows. He knows he takes out the trash sometimes. Only if Rocco's getting a little bit lippy and he won't do it. That's exactly right. Hey, you guys, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Tell them what we've got coming up because yesterday they had a problem hearing it. Yes, um, we, uh, that, that's been posted though, so they can still see it, mm -hmm. they can still see it, but at the end of every day, uh, Melissa's doing something very, very special, it's called the Golden Moment. So what exactly is the... Well, my idea, and I gotta run, because I gotta get to our other set, uh, scene to do it, but my idea when I created the Golden Moment was, number one, um, it's, I, I've, I've, we've put up some wallpaper that some of my precious precious friends in the Radke family, our little membership group, um, gave to me as a gift for my birthday one year. And I loved it. And so I put it up on the wall in one of our sit scenes here in the office. And I'm doing just a golden moment every day because you would not believe how many times a day our children hear, our, I love you. How many times a day our children hear, we're rooting for you. 
We believe in you. You can do this. But some of you don't ever hear that. I feel very blessed. David tells me I love you all the time. He knows I adore him. I worship the ground he walks on. But for a lot of our viewers, you don't hear that every day. And so if I can have 28 minutes of your time Monday through Friday, I want to make sure that during that time, you are told I love you, we're cheering for you, you're just giving some wisdom, some insight, some thoughts. And so that was kind of my thought around having a golden moment be our close of the Radkey Show every day. You can continue awesome. that, but I got to go. Hey, don't forget to leave the mic though when you, when okay. you take off. Okay. Hey, uh, we appreciate uh, you spending part of your day with us so much. Uh, it really means a lot to, to us. Thank you so much for uh, the comments. Thank you so much for the likes. Uh, if you could just continue to uh, share uh, people that you know, people that you love, if you don't really care for us, if you wanna share with people that you don't care for, that's fine too. Uh, so continue to join us. We're going to be here uh, every weekday at 9 a.m. Uh, September 18th is the actual launch, is the actual kickoff. Uh, we're still kind of in the soft launch with our family and friends, uh, but we are really, really excited about uh, spending our days with you, and it means a lot to you. And as Melissa said, every day uh, she is going to end with this golden moment. I think it'll. Uh, I think a lot of you will like it, and I think some of you will recognize uh, the wallpaper in it. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I saw this meme the other day that said, ironically, the more we are obsessed with ourselves, the more we neglect our soul. And that made zero sense to me at first because what about me time? Everybody's always talking about me time. I take me time every evening when I take a long bath right before bed. We're supposed to have me time, right? So how does that work? Well, in this golden moment, golden, you get it? I just wanna remind you that the thing that feeds your soul the very most is not what you can do for you, but what you can do for others. You've heard it a million times, but I'm telling you, it's the truth. So today, if you just decide you want a little, a little soul replenishing, just do one small thing for someone else. Because the more we are obsessed about ourselves, the more we neglect our soul, which in turn would mean in order to feed my soul, I kind of have to go out of myself. Do it for someone else today. Be their golden moment.